Welcome to the Math Party, people. We're going to be doing a geometry word problem, and I want to ask you really quick, do you feel like geometry so far for you has been easy, hard? How? You know, how do you feel about it so far? Because the reason I'm showing you this video right now is because I want to show you that there's actually a secret major advantage that you have when you're doing geometry word problems. So stick around to the end, leave a comment at the end of the video if this helps you out, and let's get started. So first things first, if you've seen any of my videos before, what's the first thing you do with a word problem? You always start with a question. You always start with what you want. All right, so I'm gonna label this in almost every video. What do you want, what do you have, and what's the connection? That's the three steps to word problem success. So again, first step, let's go ahead and zoom on out here. Let's read the question. And it says, what is the volume of the rectangular prism? So I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you right away. This is the secret. The secret to geometry word problems, the advantage that you have is that, hey, there are specific terms that have formulas associated with them. So if they say, hey, find the volume of a rectangular prism, immediately your eyes and your brain need to say, formula, there's a formula for that. When they say, hey, what's the area of the rectangle? There's a formula for that. What's the width if this is the, the perimeter? There's a formula for that. So that's the secret to geometry word problems. Yes, you do have to take a little bit of time to learn those formulas, but you also have to take a lot of time studying. So make sure that, look, we're not complaining about the work we have to do, but be grateful that we know what we need to do. So let's go ahead and get to it here. We wanna know what the volume is of the rectangular prism. Immediately in my head, I'm associating that with the formula. And the formula is this, volume equals the length times the width times the height. That's it right there. That is the formula for the volume of a rectangular prism. And since I know that, now the first thing I'm looking at now is, what's the length? What's the width? What's the height? That's all I gotta ask myself because once I know that, plug that on in and we're having ourselves a good time. Does that make sense? All right, so let's go ahead and get to it here. Let's go ahead and plug in or find the information that we have. What do we have? So here it says a rectangular prism has a length of 20, width of 16, and a height of 40. So seeing all that information, <laughs> great, that's awesome. Length is 20, width is 16, height 40. And I'm gonna uh, plug that height on in. Length, 20, width 16, and the height is 40. Now, there it is. Now, when you're looking at a problem like this and you're saying, hey, this looks a little simple in terms of the setup, sure, you could be right. Because here's the thing. There are word problems on the ASVAB that will be really easy to set up, but might have a tough calculation. They might be hard to set up with an easy calculation or could have like a medium setup with a medium calculation. This is an example where it's more so like you have a pretty okay setup because all you have to do is know the formula and plug it in. And then the calculation, well, we're dealing with three somewhat big numbers in terms of two digits. Okay, cool. Now, if you've practiced how to go ahead and work with large numbers with multiplication, this shouldn't be too hard. And so I wanna take a moment to tell you, if you haven't tried out my full program trial yet, hey, scan that QR code and go to that link because I'm gonna give you a full week access to learn how to handle numbers when it comes to whole numbers, negatives, fractions, decimals, all of that. That way you can be ready to master the ASVAB without having to pause or freak out when you see big numbers. So take that time, go there, get the trial. It's free, no credit card required. So here we go, 20 times 16 times 40. The easiest way that I can think of to do this is gonna be understanding that you can multiply in any order you want. So I'm gonna start off by multiplying the 20 and the 40. The reason I'm doing that is because, hey, look, dealing with zeros at the end, it's gonna keep things easy for me. So 20 times 40, two times four is gonna be eight, and then we have zero, zero, so 800. Again, that's not terrible, right? Not terrible. And now we have 800 times 16. So a really easy way, again, when you're multiplying with a number that ends in zeros, you can just ignore the zeros and then bring them back. It's just like the rule with decimals. It works the same way, but I'm not gonna complicate things for you. So again, I'm gonna take 800 times 16, but I'll just do the eight times 16 first. And then I'll bring those two zeros back at the end. So here we go, eight times six, that's gonna be 48. One times eight will be eight plus four is 12. So we have ourselves 128. And then again, we bring those two zeros back. 
boom, boom, and it's gonna be 12,800, and we're done. 12,800 cubic centimeters, and we're good. So there it is, my math party people, again, the idea, remember this before you continue, number one rule about geometry word problems, the secret to it is that you have a massive advantage. That advantage is that, again, there are formulas involved in almost every single problem. So whenever they mention a specific geometry term, like volume, area, perimeter, you have a formula that you can work with to keep yourself grounded. So remember that that's a secret advantage that you have. That way you can keep tearing up the ASVAB like I know you can. So if you like that, go ahead, comment below. Let me know if this helped you out in even the least. And then on top of that, make sure you remember that we have our program, our full program, free for a full week. All you gotta do is go to the QR code up there, go to that link over there, and then shoot me a text at 567-698-8867. Once you're done getting set up, introduce yourself and let's taste the ASVAB.